Our big story, nine years after 99 people were killed and hundreds injured in the blaze in Essex coach of the Sabarmati Express in Godhra, the first verdict is out and it says there was indeed a conspiracy that led to the train burning. Joining us from the ground are our reporters who have been following the story right through the course of the day. Mega, coming to you first, just a short while back, we saw those pictures of the 63 acquitted leaving Sabarmati jail and going all the way back home to Godhra after having spent at least seven years in jail. Yes, in fact, Marok, and if I could take you through the entire, uh, you know, process that we saw unfold before our eyes, quite a moment it was, Marok, when we saw one after the other, all 63 of them walking out of the main gate of the Sabar Mati jail. For many of them, Marok, they are coming out after nine-year-long ordeal, and now it turns out, Marok, that there was no evidence against these people, that they were made to go through the trauma of living in the Sabar Mati jail for nine long years with without any proper evidence against them. Now they have, in fact what really has happened 20 minutes back is that uh, they have boarded this one big bus that was waiting for them and uh, we understand that this bus which has left 20 minutes back, uh, the Sabarmati jail premises, it has straight away headed for Godhra. All these people um, will be, you know, though may not uh, be in that explicit terms welcomed in Godhra but yes we understand that arrangements have been made for a proper welcoming of all these these people, for many of them, it has been several, several years away from their family. Uh, we understand also, Maruk, that very strict uh, security arrangements have been made to escort this particular bus all the way back to Godhra. We at least saw three to four police vans that did trail this bus when it started and left the premises here in Sabarmati Jail. We understand a little late in the night, say around 11, 11.30, they will finally be able to reach their homes. Mega Prasad, Abhishek and Jugal are following the story. Just two questions at this point, really on a day when the verdict has come out. It has really been a shock for those who had debunked the conspiracy theory as far as the Godra train burning, uh, train burning case is concerned. But on the other hand, questions still remain over whether it is really a vindication of the Narendra Modi government in Gujarat. Jugal Purohit is in Godra. Jugal, Clearly, there must be a sense of anticipation there in Godra, expecting these 63 acquitted, the first batch of them who are going to come to Godra. But clearly, the security has been high and the collector has been telling you that they are trying to maintain calm as far as Godra is concerned today. Absolutely right, Mahalog. In fact, throughout the day that we've been following the developments here in Godhra, we've been seeing a massive security presence. Virtually every street, every nook and corner of this district headquarters uh, is having some or the other uh, means of police presence. So clearly the district is trying to send out a very clear message. Not just that, five other surrounding districts too have been thrown, uh, ha have been in fact uh, given a security, uh, you can say a blanket of sorts to ensure that no spillover effect of uh, what could happen this evening actually uh, travels beyond this point. Let me just tell you Maru, 63 odd people expected here. In fact, this will be uh, the, the moment of uh, the, the test for the district forces which have been deployed. The, the collector as well as the DIG we spoke to very shortly had said that they have requested, once again made an appeal to all religious leaders and especially to the families of those whose, uh, whose people have been acquitted and who are coming home now to not express any jubilation, any celebration in public. Keep it restricted to their homes so as to not uh, offer or possibly uh, try and upset the other community. Uh, it, it, so, so in a way, it's a very tense atmosphere here. But the district administration and the police authorities are trying their best to defuse, and and they're confident that given the manner in which the the, 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 the citizens of Godra have behaved through the day, it will pass off very peacefully. But as I said, the sec the security and the administration is taking no chances. There is a lot of police presence, and in anticipation of those people coming in, uh, there indeed will be a lot of security presence. Back to you. Jugal Abhishek and Mega are on the ground there in Ahmedabad and Godra as well giving us details. Abhishek, I'll come to you in just a bit because the one person who has been conspicuous in his silence has been Narendra Modi. Even as the BJP came out claiming the verdict was a vindication of their stand, the Congress hit back saying that the verdict was just on the Godra case and Modi's role in the post-Godra riots was still under question. <laughs> कार सेवकों के कोच में आग लगाई गई हम इस निर्णय का स्वागत करते हैं जिन लोगों ने इसके बिना पर राजनीति करने की कोशिश की 
इस घटना के तथ्य को झुटलाने की कोशिश की आज उनको देश के सामने अपनी सफाई पेश करनी चाहिए मेरा जो दायित्व था मेरा जो दायित्व था कि रेल मंत्री होने के नाते रेलों को सख्त टारगेट किया जाता है लोग जला देते हैं और भीतर से या बाहर से आग लगा क्या हुआ ये सारा विस्तृत रिपोर्ट है वहाँ अब आज एक हाई वहाँ से रिपोर्ट फैसला आया है लोअर कोर्ट स्पेशल कोर्ट जो वहाँ बना था तो इसमें मुझे कोई टीका टिप्पणी नहीं करनी है कानून अपना रास्ता देखेगा We don't comment upon the judgment, but it still does not take away from the fact that after the incident, the riots that took place post Godra, Mr. Narendra Modi and his government are single-handedly responsible for it. Despite today's verdict, the biggest question that remains: what happened to Modi's claims that Godra was a cross-border conspiracy? Abhishek is still with us uh, from the ground, along with Jugal and Mega. Abhishek. Uh, the silence from narendra modi's office from any of his close aides really at this point and we are unlikely to hear from him what are you hearing really from your sources there in the chief minister's office well apart from the first reaction that has come from the spokesperson minister for narendra modi general and vyas uh, uh, mum is the word uh, as of now on the part of narendra modi we are uh, we understand that uh, in some time he would definitely be reacting now the standard line that has been taken is that narendra modi when this incident had happened had only said that it's a conspiracy it's not an spontaneous act uh, and and in that line he had in that connotation he had mentioned that it's an act of terror so that is the line that narendra modi had taken at that time and with this verdict that has come today saying uh, essentially keeping the conspiracy part intact uh, the narendra modi line would essentially be that this is what we were saying and the judgment essentially uh, seconds uh, that line so uh, so far as narendra modi is concerned obviously he would wait for an opportune time to react but uh, he would essentially see this as a vindication of the stand that he had taken at that time maruk abhishek mega and jugal thanks so much for that on a day when the first crucial judgment really in the godra episode of gujarat and this country has come out thanks so much for that looking at some of the other stories that we